Good evening and welcome to the Aria Institute Duet Trio Brunch Edition Showcase. My name is Tess Altaveros. I am a Seattle-based soprano and together with Anne Rieben and Basil Considine, a co-director of Really Spicy Operas, Aria Institute for Composers and Librettists. This online training program prepares aspiring opera creators to write opera from the ground up using our own unique performer-driven process. The ARIA Institute is one of a very small handful of programs providing intensive instruction in opera writing. After launching in the summer of 2020, we've had an extraordinary first year with more than 100 new ARIAs, duets, and trios created by our participants, many of which are already being performed in recital programs. Two of our alums have been accepted into American Lyric Theater's resident artist program. Another into uh, EMI Lehman Engel's Musical Theatre Workshop. Others have been awarded new works commissions, received grants and fellowships, or are now hard at work on their own full-length operas. Over the last four weeks, our participants have received instruction in writing and refining operatic duets and trios, as well as some of the business aspects of bringing these and other works to performance. This is a very involved process, um, and they've been working very hard at creating a new piece each week and with a different writing partner each time. Over the course of the next hour, you will get to sample some of the musical fruits of their labors. Enjoy. The piece on the program is called Good Cape, Bad Cape, and it comes from an imagined opera called Katzenmann versus the Patriarchy. Set in Europe during the time of the Black Death, this opera follows two costume vigilantes, Katzenmann and Morning Dove, who are fighting crime. Having met up in the shadows and being united by the shared interest of stopping criminal bad guys, it turns out that on both sides there has been something of a mutual interest developing in each other, a romantic interest. Now, in the best of times, coming out to someone to oh, reveal your interest to make yourself vulnerable to the process of rejection is never easy. But throw in the pressures of a suppressed medieval time, throw in the pressures of a secret identity, add in the additional tremors of wondering if they reject you, what will they do, what will they reveal, what, how this might come back to you and destroy not just your secret life, but your real life as well. Well, here we have a recipe for drama. This is Good Cape, Bad Cape from Katzenbahn vs. Patriarchy with music by Joshua Brown and lyrics by Jessica Grams.
According to classical etiquette, there are three topics you should not bring up at the dinner table. Sex, politics, and religion. Well, we've already talked about sex, and this next piece dives directly into the next two for great dramatic purposes. Taken from an imagined opera called Promised Land, set in the Palestinian occupied territories in the Middle East, this opera finds a pair of sisters who've just seen their house destroyed by an errant Israeli missile. Written by Monica Raymond, the lyrics, and Helena Michelson, the music, this duet for soprano and mezzo-soprano gives us the unvarnished reactions, which, after your house has just been destroyed, I imagine involve being very, very upset. This is Rubble and Dust. Did I mention that sex, politics, and religion are not polite topics at the dinner table? Well, opera seems to never have gotten that memo, because our next duet is also about sex and romance. Taken from an imagined opera called Girls, 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 written by Jolie O'Dell and Alima Considine, this piece, Big Dreams, Bright Eyes, finds two women 
at a legendary bar in Hollywood, California in 1998. And not just any bar, a legendary lesbian hangout, where one character stops by and tries to pick up the other. To say two more would be telling, and that's what the music is going to do. This is Big Dreams, Bright Eyes from Girls, Girls, Girls. Lyrics by Julie O'Dell, music by Alima Considine. Hollywood, the place where dreams are made and, for better or worse, where some dreams are broken. It's always tragic when you move to a place filled with ideas and you leave jaded. And there is also a certain pleasure when you see someone who's behaving badly get hoisted by their own petard. That is the theme of this next piece, called Blackout, from an imagined opera called Cinema Suits with lyrics by Laura Shamus and music by myself. This piece finds the day after someone has been, shall we say, over imbibing. And they find that their personal assistant is just a little bit too eager to tell them about how they messed up. This is Blackout from Cinema Suits, lyrics by Laura Shamus, music by Basil Constein. this 
Take a trip with me to rural Arkansas. No, we're not going on vacation. We're going to try and solve one of the most pressing questions imaginable. What would you do if you discovered that aliens exist? You think you know? All right, well, let's complicate that. What would you do if you discovered that aliens exist and you had a lifelong, well-developed, reinforced, profound sense of distrust in your government? Well, that is the sort of debate that faces our characters here in this duet, taken from an imagined opera called Heartland, with music by Joshua Brown and lyrics by Laura Shamus. We find a couple of neighbors who are startled out of the routine when a flying saucer comes crashing down, burning through the sky, and collides into the yard. What do you do? I mean, you've just discovered that you're not alone in the universe. And what do you do? Do you tell someone? Do you tell the authorities? Do you cover it up? How do you respond to the fact that not only you've learned that aliens exist, that there is such a thing as an extraterrestrial life, and also you kind of have a dead alien here, and uh, what do you do about that? Do you bury them? Do you pointedly look the other way? Do you leave home before the feds get here? Well, for that answer, let us listen to Did We Really See from Heartland. Music by Joshua Brown, lyrics by Laura Shamus.
few things that America is known for. One of these is the heights of corporate capitalism. And whatever their other virtues, it is a, certainly an undeniable truth that many people have become very unhappy on the quest for ever greater profits. Whether we're talking about overexploited workers, people who feel that they are being dehumanized by their trade, or just plain old-fashioned abused. And so this leads us to a particular genre of American literature that we would put in the revenge section, which is to say, plots to stick it to the man. And I do mean the man, because in most cases, these stories involve entrenched, difficult, isolating power figures who do happen to be men. And so it is that in this opera, entitled Silicon Dreams, with music by Helena Michelson and lyrics by Jolie O'Dell, we find a pair of women who are looking for their own way to get back. Some of the threads of this plot might surprise you. Some of them might seem familiar. In the familiar category, we have that old desire to take something and get away with it. Now, in some cases, this consists of stealing office supplies, low grade. Other cases, it involves larger dreams to shave off a few cents here and there that then add up and multiply and turn into a substantial amount of money. If you recognize this from the plot of the movie Office Space, great, that is a classic example of this. But this sort of scheme is not only a staple of electronic banking, but has been in effect going back into the ancient days where we have court accounts of people being tried for <laughs> stealing a little bit here and there that they thought would not be noticed and that they'd be able to get away with. Well, if the tale is as old as time, the particular constraints and conditions that allow it continue to evolve, and the joy here is in the telling. Will they get away? Will they be able to stick it in the end to the man? Will they be able to stick the landing with each other? This is Girls Who Code from the opera Silicon Dreams, music by Helena Michelson, lyrics by Jolie Adele. Oh, 
just like that. Liv, I just made us millionaires. It's just one and zero if and then stuff like Pat Cotter. And now for something different. I'm Kate Robards, the playwright in residence for the most recent Aria Institute. Over the course of one week, these composers and librettists worked to collaboratively write an opera together. That in itself is something unusual, but even more unusual is that no team knew what the other was working on. For their final project in the Aria Institute's duet trio brunch edition, we crafted a basic scenario, the aftermath of a natural disaster and gave our teams a few specific details, names, relationships, and other small pieces of information. As they wrote their respective du duets and trios, some names and relationships were, from those were passed to other teams to incorporate. The result is an artistic composite called an exquisite corpse. When you layer to create a composite whole, only knowing a few small points that will link up with what came before your contribution, the excitement is in the surprising resonance and variety that ensues. At the opening of this opera, a multi-generational family has been stranded by a volcanic eruption. This is their story. Sweet shores of Napoli shone the streets of Great Pompeii. Roman villas, boat flotillas, sweeping swift across the Thank you. 
once knew all of their world swept away when forests are burning and rivers start boiling you should run you should live you should flee but I
Splashed with gold, the sky splashed with gold and gold. 